Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Chin back with another video. Today's video, I want to talk about the whole coronavirus and the whole election thing that's going on in Jamaica and the breach of confidentiality and all that stuff. Now, the first thing that I wanted to say was when this whole coronavirus hit us, I was so proud of how Jamaica handled it. Like they had their borders locked down, they instilled their curfews and all that. And it was really doing extremely well. In fact, Jamaica was one of the one of the, among one of the places that had every single day. very low infection rate and I was really proud of the how they handled it you know the whole quarantine the whole locking down the island stuff like that and then I don't know what happened coronavirus started the numbers started going down elsewhere and then they decided that okay that's going down maybe we should open back the country or the island and that's exactly what they did they started letting in these foreigners from high-risk countries and then having them quarantine for 14 days and all that. But my question is, were they really quarantining? I don't think they were. Especially these people in the hotels. You go to a hotel, you're supposed to be... It's kind of hard for you to be on a resort and be quarantining because there's the pool... There's the dining area. There's so many amenities on a resort for you to enjoy. And you're not going to pay thousands of dollars just to go to a resort to stay locked up in your room. Nobody's going to do that. So I feel that it started spreading within the resorts because you have the workers that are working and at the end of their shift, they have to go home to their families and they have to come in contact with people while, you know, outside of the resort. So I think that's one way that it started spreading. And then on top of that, I don't know what Andrew Holness was thinking when he decided to call for an election in a time like this. It's beyond me because for one, there's no social distancing going on when it comes to their their uh, rallying. There's none. Have you seen some of these, I call them carnivals, that they keep in? Like, nobody's social distancing. A lot of people are not wearing masks. Like, and he's okay with this. He's okay with this. Like, how do you expect a pandemic should, is going on right now? And in a place like Jamaica, where you know when it comes to politics, these people don't play. When it comes to campaigning, listen, all who can walk them are come out in a wheelchair. So what did you expect, Andrew Holness? Did you really expect that the rate of coronavirus, the numbers wasn't going to go up? Did you expect that? What a time for you to be calling an election. Like, I'm speechless and I'm very disappointed, right? I'm not saying that you can't call your election. Call your election. You know, I'd insist that these people do the whole social distancing stuff, right? Make sure that these people are doing their social distancing. Make sure they're wearing their masks. Make sure they're taking extra precautions just to make sure that they don't get infected or they don't get other people infected, right? And then I'm seeing posts on Instagram where they're saying Hussein Bolt is pos tested positive. Now, my question is, how is it that this man is going to go and take his test and the whole universe knows that he's positive before him. Who leaked that information? 
Where's the confidentiality? Where's the privacy? And then now they're saying that they're going to investigate this man's party. I don't think he caught he he caught the virus from his party. Because if his party happened when was it? A couple days prior to him taking the test. It's impossible for it to give him a negative or a positive result that early. It takes five to ten days of coming in contact with somebody with the virus for you to get a positive or a negative test, right? So I don't think it came from his party. I think maybe he came in contact with somebody prior to his party for him to have such a quick positive testing. And again, as I said, where is the confidentiality? Where is the privacy? How is it that you're not investigating the person that leaked this man private business to social media. How did social media find out before him? The man wake up to find out he's a, he's COVID positive. Nobody contacted him before this. He found out he was positive on social media. Now, if he if Andrew if um Andrew Holness is gonna charge Hussein Bolt for social distancing. Who are charging feet? Who are gonna lock him up? Because with all of them campaigning here, we are going. Nobody now social distancing, so I'm supposed to get charged too. Not sure. It's only fair. If he's trying to instill this whole social distancing and this whole quarantining thing on people, how is it that he's supposed to be running the country? But yet still in my big rally and big things are going, big carnival in my JLP. Who are going to charge him? Who are going to lock him up? Who are going to find him? Because if what he's doing, or if what the JLP uh, patrons and the PMP patrons are doing is not illegal, then Hussein Bolt having a private party on a yacht somewhere or in a look or at a location shouldn't be a problem either because the prime minister himself in college election and have people around while out that street forgetting about this whole pandemic that's going on like i don't i don't know if it's just me but i just find something really wrong with that really wrong with that Right? And if you notice from this whole election came about, you see the number of them run gone up? Because half of them are people and them not have voting up. But because them here election and them no party are going on this, that, that, and driving a whole pop, um, the whole pop driving up and down and the whole pop marching, them are going to do that. And we know so when voting day come, enough of them not, half of them don't even have a tearing number for your vote. But them de pan road, them de pan mortecade, no? So who fault? Whose fault is it that the people are not practicing this whole social distancing and the whole quarantining thing? Whose fault is it? Not the government fault. Not the government fault, no? So people are just going off what their leader is doing. Anybody the leader and them are the follower? Anyways, that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comment section what you think. What your opinions and what your views are on this whole pandemic that's on the rise in Jamaica. And this whole election bullshit. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Tell a friend to come on over and I'll see you guys in my next video.